Hey everybody, Russ Henneberry here and we're going to be walking through how to submit a local business to Bing.com. Bing is a new search engine available from Microsoft that is quickly um, eating up market share and some say has surpassed Yahoo in uh, market share for search. So it's an important search engine to be considering in your online marketing. So why submit a local business? Well, when people do queries in search engines, such as IT Consultant, St. Louis, Missouri, it generally will activate the local portion of the search engine. So you're going to see listings like these here, and these people have a local listing in search engine like Bing, Google, Yahoo, they all have their local end of their uh, search services. So you need to create business centers for each of the search engines. So I'm going to walk you through how to do this on Bing. The process is very similar on Yahoo and Google. And so let's get started. So you're going to begin by logging on to this website address here that I have listed and I'm going to put a link to this in the blog post on my blog at russhenneberry.com just look below the video and you'll see the link that you need to add a listing on Bing and you're going to click on add a new listing and here you're going to enter your business information Now you want to check to make sure you have everything in here accurately and click check your listing. Now you see here that this says your business wasn't found. So if your business is found it's going to ask you to claim the listing. If it's your business you need to claim that listing and you'll go through a different process than we're going to go through here today this process is going to show you how to add a listing when Bing doesn't already have you listed so check again through your information and make sure it's properly entered and then click continue okay and here you're going to need to have a Windows or Live ID login and if you don't have one then you need to go ahead and create one. You can create a Windows Live ID by clicking on the sign up button but for me we're just gonna go ahead and continue down the process. Okay so after you have entered your Windows Live ID it should take you to an edit listing page and we're just going to go through here and fill out this information and I encourage you to fill out as much of this as possible because a more detailed local listing is going to rank higher and give you more opportunity to convince a prospect to do business with you so I'm gonna go through here and fill out this information okay so check one last time through all of your information and make sure that it's correct I encourage you to add a photo here also a business description that is you know includes some of the keywords that you're looking to rank for and then in your specialties also try to include as many keywords as possible in here now here's a little error Okay, and when you're finished with that, you're going to click Next. Okay, and here you're going to be adding categories to your local listing. Browse through these categories and take your time here because this is an important part of what will activate your local business listing over someone else's. They will use these categories to properly display the, pro the, the right business. You can use this keyword tool um, 
or you can just browse through by hand and find up to six categories that you want to include your business in in the Bing Local Business Listing Center. Okay, so let's walk through the categories that I've chosen for my business. And you can see advertising and marketing services and then drill down to internet advertising. Advertising and marketing services, marketing consultants. Internet products and services, internet website design and development. And computer and web publishing, computer multimedia and internet publishing. And you can move the the categories up and down because you want you want the most important category at the top. And when you're finished and satisfied with that, you're going to click next. And they're going to show you a review of your business center. So again, run through here and make sure that this is all accurate because this is going to go live to the internet. And here again, here are my categories. And again, this is an extremely important part because they are going to use this to decide whether or not to display your business. You know, a good description of your company here that, that includes keywords, and then again on your specialties, again, include keywords. And once you're satisfied with that, you're going to click Next. And you're going to want to have a look at the service agreement with Microsoft. And once you've done that, click I accept. And then you're going to have to wait and go through the verification process. None of these search engines want to have the wrong information in their index. So what they're going to do here is send a actual snail mail letter to my address and I'm going to go through the verification process and my listing will be live in Bing. And that's it for this episode of Leading Run. If you like the content of this video podcast, you can leave a review in iTunes. You can find more at my website at russhenneberry.com. This is Russ Henneberry signing off and wishing you small business success through internet marketing.